Hello and welcome to another update video about Nia. Yeah, Nia has possibly um, completed its correction here, this wave two or wave B correction. Yeah, so it could be an A, B or a one, two. That doesn't matter so much in the medium term. Um, it could, com could have completed a correction here on the 5th of July, like many other coins. I have to say though, that this structure is extremely messy and I don't see a very, very clear chart here. It's not very clear. Context is not very clear, I have to say that. And why is that? Because, well, see, I can see this as an A, B, C structure in wave two or wave B, which bottomed around $4, yeah, $4.02 on the 5th of July. The move down reached targets because we can take the length of the A wave, then we go to the high of the B wave, and it, you can see it touched 100% extension. That just means that the C wave completed what it needs to complete. So it could easily be a completed correction, and we might be looking at the next wave to the upside, the next larger rally, which could be wave three to the upside, or actually the C wave in the white count but it doesn't matter in the short term again, you know? For now, I think the focus needs to be, or the key question needs to be, have we actually put a low in place, a more substantial low in either wave B in white or wave two in yellow? To get some indication that this is happening, I need a, a one, two setup. I haven't got that at this stage. I only have three waves up. That doesn't give me the clarity. So with a three wave move up, I'm struggling to confirm a low in place. It is clearly only three waves. Now that doesn't mean it couldn't go higher. It certainly can, but it is less clear. That's always the problem. It will be less clear. Um, less clearly bullish. So I might want to stay away from it. I really only want to trade something if I see a five wave move ideally in one direction. So this is only three. If we get five waves, we could call that wave one of the bullish count wave one of the next rally to the upside. The problem with this chart is, and I go to the four hour chart, this could easily still be a running flat correction. Wave A to the downside into the April low. Then within a B wave, we had an A wave up into the May highs, a B wave low into the July lows and the C wave rally up, running flat correction with then one more low. It is a complex chart, difficult to spot that potential, but it's there. Um, and therefore I would, I would be extremely careful with this one. And that is also why five waves up alone won't help us confirm a low in this chart because it could be five waves up, but that might just be the C wave in the orange count, which could then lead to another drop. The invalidation point, this is where we get to the invalidation point. The invalidation point for the bullish counts is at the $4 mark, $4.01, $4.02. So as long as we're holding that, however, I'm inclined to follow the yellow count, but it's not high confidence. So first of all, first step for the bulls to prove something will be to form a five wave move up as per the yellow count. If we can then hold the corrective pullback, which what would be wave two afterwards, yeah, then we are bullish. But I need those five up, three down to confirm a low is in place, three up, don't prove anything, okay? The market hasn't proven anything yet other than a green, a few green candles, um, but that could simply be part of that orange B wave. So be a bit careful with this one. The key level should be clear. Next micro support is $4.92. Against this level, one more high could form. If we can't even do that, it might be even more bearish than, than, I'm, than I'm thinking here at the moment, but I would still wanna see one more high regardless, it, actually. But the probabilities for one more high will reduce below 492 and that just means we have to look at the microstructure again. All you need to know at the moment I think is 492 is micro support. Below that level the, the $4 mark is the invalidation point for any directly bullish scenario. That's the update about Nier. Hope you liked the update. If you did please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.